Oh, wait, uh, Shine going Bowser instead of uh, Lucas. All right. So. Bowser is one of his characters. Yeah, that is true. Shine is, uh, like, Lucas is his, like, main, main, main character. Right. Like, if you had to choose one character for him, it would be Lucas, but he has a plethora of counterfeits as well. Maybe you know, looking for a little more pop coming out of Bowser, just so much, uh, so much strength. And Bowser Jr., kind of very similar to Smash 4 with the, uh, the game plan with a lot of those early combos coming off a of side special and things like that. Yeah, trying to get the damage rolling. One of the big differences is that uh, side B isn't as good anymore. Yeah, especially with it stopping and shield and uh, all the. Yeah, it doesn't. Stuff. It doesn't stop and shield. Um, it, side B is still one of those moves that goes past it. Yeah, it goes okay. past it, but. Uh, it's like a lot more easier to punish in this game, just because of the way the game works. Right. And the other good thing that um, Bowser Jr. has is that in Smash 4, that was like one of his best tools, is the Mega Cooper right there. Right. But in this game, that also got nerfed. Uh -huh. Because as long as you shield it, it just drops down and dies. It stops <laughs> dead in his tracks. I'm so glad I'm Bowser Jr. main, I can actually like right. know what I'm talking about. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'll let you take the lead on, uh, <laughs> on that one. Uh, but right now, Shine, uh, a little bit of a deficit to overcome. Yeah. Ketchup coming out pretty strong, and if he can break through this disadvantage state, he's looking pretty good. Wow. Man, you saw the up smash animation come yeah. out, too. That was ballsy by Ketchup. <laughs> he just got grabbed and just fought. <laughs> and that's a Bowser Jr. grab. That's not the uh, fastest of grabs coming yeah. out. So uh, Ketchup had to be pretty confident yeah. in that situation. So in Smash 4, Ketchup was probably like the third best Bowser Jr., like behind Vice Cream and Tater. Right. But in this, oh man, he, he recovered too. A little too, deep. Like, that yeah. cannonball, just a little too slow. Uh huh. But in this game, Ketchup is actually looking to be the best Bowser Jr. in SoCal. In SoCal Chronicles, he did really well. He got 13th place to beat like Tyrant, while the other Bowser Jr. is my screen and Ketchup, they got yeah. like 33rd. So this guy is like the junior to watch right now. And right now, it's just uh, building a little bit of a lead. Just It's always difficult because Bowser, it's like, it seems like one back here and it's uh, stock on and it does <laughs> the lead. Yeah, it's, whoa, it cannonball the other way. We're catching, what are you doing? Some super baits? Oh, a little too high. Oh, but we'll catch the air dodge into the stage. All right, another stock taken. We'll yeah, so much, so much power on that aerial after the special. Yeah, this this is annoying for Bowser because the thing that um, Bowser Jr. is good at is that, you know, his forward airs and back airs, like, they're all disjointed and stuff. Right. So it's like, it's it's hard for Bowser to, like, try and get in because a lot of his attempts can just get stuffed out by, like, a forward air or something. And then, and then of course, he goes on, like, Mecha Cooper and Cannonball just to make it even more. I wonder why Shine decided to go Bowser in this matchup as opposed to, uh, you know, opposed to Lucas. It, it can work out. Um, at times, like it's not the worst matchup. Uh -huh. It's not terrible for Bowser, but for a player that's at, at like Ketchup's caliber, like Ketchup's like pretty good at this. Yeah. So I feel like we should have just stuck to Lucas because Lucas does pretty well against Bowser Jr. Right. right. That might be something we'll see coming in through uh, Game Two or. Oh uh, man, that was the awesome wow. coverage there. He couldn't go up. He couldn't go down. That was yeah. He had nowhere to go. Just trapped by either going high. You have to deal with. You know, Ludwig directly, and if you go low, there's the clown card just falling through the sky. Yeah, that that was really good stuff from Ketchup. All right, Shine just kind of, they're talking over their sta the stage bans, and let's see what they're opening up with for you at home that haven't followed the rules in singles. They ban two, stage on this, two stages on this rule set, so the uh, winner of the match will declare two stages that we can't go to, and the loser will pick the next stage. And then uh, they'll go through and counter pick characters, and they'll open up into the next game. Yep. Uh, another theory, another possibility for why Shine might not be, might have, might not have been on Lucas for that game is that um, you guys do play a lot too, uh -huh. so they are pretty familiar with uh, each other. That might also be a thing. Just trying to go for the uh, the <laughs> the film familiarity read and just yeah, mix it up a little bit. Shine actually has a Bowser Jr. himself that gotcha. Ketchup taught him, and it's like pretty good in my opinion. Uh oh, Cloud can't Cloud's go wrong with Cloud. Out. Here we can't go. Can't go wrong with Cloud. <laughs> Doing that, uh, it's like, well, it's Kingdom Hearts theme, but that's Square, uh, you know, Square <laughs> Enix. So. This is the closest you're gonna yeah. get. Actually, it doubles since I can't, like, I wanted to, like, fit the theme as well, this semi kind of Kingdom Hearts theme. But, you know, Sora's not in this game, so the best I could do was go Cloud. My Cloud was terrible. <laughs> but, um, here we have Shine's Cloud, also one of his good characters. And, uh, already opening up uh, an early lead. But, you know, that could disappear in the blink of an eye at Bowser Jr. Those disjointed aerials right. covering neutral so well. Are we getting some sort of gimp as well? Like, yeah, when he's going for the spares, he's like trying to stuff out some sort of jump. Yeah. That limit's locked online, and 
that's changed in previous games because it disappears over time. Yep. So you kind of got to use it or lose it's it at some let point. let it rip here, in my opinion. Oh, no, actually. Saving it even longer. Yeah, there, okay, there you go. But yeah, you just... Oh, it oh. worked. It worked. The galaxy brain kill it option. <laughs> I, it might have, he, did it, he might have uh, air dodged those things and tried to buffer yeah, it. Yeah, uh, possibly. Tried to tech it, but it didn't end up hitting the stage or anything like that. Oh, man. She ain't doing a lot better. That's true now. And already, just, you know, just building a lead. Every percent here, and the st second stock is just extra credit, turning in the homework and putting in the work. And it's kind of a reversal of the first game where ketchup came oh, out so strong. Now yeah. Shine just reversing the script and has the download, it seems like, on Ketchup. Yeah, he's all over him. Oh, that's another one of the moves that uh, Bowser Jr. is like a lot better in this game, Jab. Because uh, Jab is actually a super reliable kill move now. I'll talk about it more like, when he uses it, because I know Ketchup loves using that Jab in this game now. Kind of troll people. Shine going a little bit too deep that, that game. Uh, yeah, that stock just that. Just kind of, yeah, both, both stocks are kind of lost, like, like very... Uh, <laughs> Very question mark like on the uh, on the box score. Yeah, like, it's what? like it's like man, what's that word when when you're like getting all hyped up and it's like kind of disappointing? Uh, anti climactic. Yeah, that, that one. Yeah, both socks are pretty anti climactic. <laughs> yeah. It's like oh, they just paired on to die. All right, here right, we go. And scary position. Okay, catches him with the forward air, does not connect. Oh man, he air dodged into the stage again. Almost got caught, just like last game. And after such a huge lead, too, Ketchup has battled right back into it, and he's virtually tied up the score. Yeah. Oh, all right, Mecha Cooper gonna send him away, give him more time to recover back to stage. Very good aggressive uh, back air. And he neutral. gets caught by the Mecha Koopa, which lets him get back to stage safely. Kind of one of those. Thank you. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah. Moments. Yeah. Shine had no reason to get hit by that. Cloud back here, still good as ever. Yeah. All right, na nice wait. Oh, there you go. That forward tilt's gonna take it. I was gonna say this. La this uh, second stock's gonna be very pivotal coming into the end here. Um, Shine looking that loser's bracket in the face if he doesn't pick up the stock. And we're even. Yeah, that catch with the spin out, catching that landing. So, I mean, Shine had a super good start, but catch up like, I mean, he like kind of SD'd that first off too, in a way, so it's like. Right, so it's been pretty much catch momentum since uh, after he died so early the first off, right. least, I would say. Oh, and that uh, catch up tried to go for an up throw up air. Like, that was not a true thing in Smash 4. You can always kind of like just jump out of it. But in this game, it's like a little more true. They have a lot, they have less options to like avoid that. And then once the up airs like start happening, like it's it's easier to be a juggle in this game too. So that's so that's a tool that's better for Bowser Jr. The up air juggles. Oops. Seems like Shine's found is putting just a little bit now in this yeah. matchup. Still in the lead. He just has to find a way to finish it, which he is close, which is very possible. Yeah, he has that limit online. I don't know if this will be the limit to kill, because he'll probably uh, he'll probably burn it and probably wait for the right. next cycle. Like right there. Oh, there it is. It's gone. It's gone. So, but if you're positioning for catch-up, that's uh, pretty much where you want to be in terms of limit timing. It's going to really have to make Shine work to get that limit online. Right. Yeah, so um, catch-up, like, going for the forward airs and trying to stuff out jumps, but then Shine, like, counteracting with uh, back airs, he's retreating back airs instead. That's what, that's what I'm seeing a lot here. Oh, avoiding that again. Ketchup is, like, doing really well, like, avoiding the pivotal, like, li limit uh, moves. That's like Shine is trying to catch him with the forward tilt. Yeah, there it yeah. is. Hoping that'll kill. Not quite enough from that far on the stage. Oh, man. That's, yeah, that's going to be it. Yeah, ballsy move there from Ketchup. Went with the up special, trying right. to get the hit. But Shine stuffed it out oh. with a shooting forward there. And we're 1 1 evens. If he actually got the spiking hitbox, he might have been able to take that one too. Yeah, it survived. <laughs> but he got the, uh, the quote sour spot in, quote. Oh, man. Yeah. Put away the stock. No chance of techie when you just go flying off the stage. Ketchup was trying to go for that mix up where you just uh, air dodge back or just like kind of land back onto the stage. And they, they try to somehow punish you, but they just get, end up getting hit by your hammer instead. Yeah. It's like a risk it all kind of thing. Yeah. And if you have a 1 0 lead, you can go ahead and bet it all on. Oh, back. yeah, definitely. <laughs> you got another game to work with. Uh, just got to, you know, just not let it slip through uh, the cracks at this point and bring it home in game three. But, you know, in terms of risk-reward, sometimes right. it's worth the risk. If you got the reward, you got the reward. But 
sometimes you got to pay the risk, and that's just kind of what happened there at the end of the game. So especially when Bowser Jr. has rage, yeah, and you're at quite a deficit, like your opponent's at 40, and you're like, wait, what if I air dodge behind <laughs> them and hit them with a the hammer? Because that yeah. hammer is so strong. Actually, he's using Ludwig, so he doesn't have a hammer. Uh -huh. All the Koopalings oh, have, have the, uh, the yeah. wand. Yeah, yeah. I love that detail. There you go. All right, so no surprises here from Ketchup. The Ludwig coming back out. Shine, deep in thought. Yeah. Who's he going to go with? He, he, Shine has a whole bunch of characters. Ketchup's like, yeah, I got I got Ludwig. Um, <laughs> he, tried, he tried other characters, and when the game came out, it didn't work out. Yeah. When he tried going Falco, nope. Uh, that, that, tried playing other characters. Terrible. Congratulations, you played yourself. <laughs> he was like, well, I guess I'll just go back to low-tier Ludwig. Uh, he won't go back to Bowser. I don't yeah, think he's see that. There's a Pokemon trainer on the screen. His Cloud, like, won the game, but I guess it just wasn't convincing right. enough for him. And he's changing the colors, and maybe Pokemon trainer is the pick. Just really thinking this yeah. through. Ketchup's like, what, can you hurry up? <laughs> Shiny's like, all right, all right. Yeah, let's get the shot clock on this guy. <laughs> Ketchup's Pokemon looking at him like, oh, he's All right, he's locked in. Let's go, Pokemon Trainer. Pokemon Trainer, though. Another character. He didn't have this character in Smash 4, but that's because this character didn't exist. exist yeah. Three, and we're two, on Town and City. One, Coming in, just maybe a little more of an open game than other stages. And Squirtle coming in early. It's kind of been the thing, right? You uh, put in as much work as you can with Squirtle early, and then you go to Ivysaur because Ivysaur is pretty good. <laughs> and then every once in a while, just the hint right. of Charizard. Especially when you're at like high percent and you gotta like live a little longer. Right. You gotta, you gotta bust up the tank though. Then. And have you seen the down air on uh, or the down air and upper hitboxes on on Ivysaur? They're bigger than Ivysaur. Oh my I'll tell you that. Right now. I saw the picture for that reason. <laughs> oh, that is that is gonna take the first off. Fine whip also having a huge hitbox. Oh my god. I didn't, I didn't think that would actually work. Oh, the Mecha Koopa works a little differently now, too. Um, because it doesn't just kind of explode as soon as like it hits you like in Smash 4. Uh, it kind of latches onto you. So um, just a bit of an explanation. Uh, in Smash 4, what Bowser Jr. want to do is uh, make it so that the bomb would explode as like, right as you're like, no one like to grab. But I think in this game, you want the Mecha Koopa to hit your opponent as soon as your grab animation is done. So that once they get thrown out by the grab, uh, by the throw, and then the Mecha Koopa explodes and sends them at a different angle for you to keep it. That made any sense to you. Yeah. <laughs> Just a it's like a JV Pikmin <laughs> with uh, explosions. <laughs> All right, so will we? Oh, man. Uh, All right, finally Squirtle. taking that first stock. And Shine with a little bit of a lead here coming into the second stock. 66% on catch-up. And that Ivysaur already out. Let's see. Last stock, he picked up that uh, that Mind Whip confirm. And that works over. Here we go. There's again. Mind Whip confirmed for days. That move is good. What the? Like, Ketchup's like at a super deficit uh, compared to the other games. I mean, he was at a, he, uh, he was at a deficit in, against the Cloud. Oh, he's no. at a real deficit here. I thought he was about to get carried off the top of the waterfall because he got the platform uh, jump restoration, but didn't quite extend the combo. Yeah, he can't find a way in. Squirtle's so small and nimble. Yeah, he's already got he's got ketchup in that kill range already. Shine Dang. in command of the Pokemon Trainer. One confirm. His characters were working out so well. I tried to pivot grab that. Fortunate that Ludwig was able to get the hammer or the uh, the wand down in time. Uh, trouble out of the kill confirm range for the uh, mind blip, So and this is the advantage of having so many characters. Sometimes if you can find that one character that does like really well, then you're in. But the problem is you gotta find a oh, cannonball wow. catch. Oh, cannonball. <laughs> Cannonball's better than in this game. Yeah. Cool. There's a lot of things about Bowser Jr. that like got buffed, thankfully. That's a surprising <laughs> amount of pop. It's like, you know, in Smash 4 it, didn't, it felt like it should have hit harder. Yeah. In this game it feels like it hits like the appropriate amount. Right, Based right. off what it is. And of course, uh, catch up only on a dear life after such a promising game one. If you can play this stock correctly, you can still be like, you know, finding that final hit and kill is like not an easy thing to right. do. Especially since the, the like he's out of the, the confirm range is right. off the grab. Yeah, definitely. That's kind of what catch up has to hope for. But he's a little trouble that Ooh, down air. I was, yeah, I thought that down air was coming too. Yeah, he actually didn't like uh, use it. Yeah, he's, he's, he's kinda, oh, oh, the catch. That will do it. The rug, vine whip, catch up. So yeah, I got got.